Hey there, it's Steve and Connor from Serious Keto. And what do we have today? We have some pizza, keto pizza. So is there a better food on the planet than pizza? Probably not. I could eat it every day. The problem is with keto, I've yet to find one that really, really, really knocks my socks off. There have been a couple decent ones that we've tried, but I still haven't had any pizza that's keto that makes me think I'm eating real pizza. Right. So we've got both the cheese pizza and the buffalo ranch, and it's cauliflower, not chicken, okay. from Capello's Pizza. Now in terms of ingredients, very clean. So looking at the crust, we've got turnip, almond flour, egg, mozzarella cheese, flaxseed, organic coconut flour, extra virgin olive oil, coconut oil, water, psyllium husk, xanthan gum, lemon juice, apple cider, vinegar, and sea salt. And then, you know, the toppings are just basically looking at cheese and sauce. For a serving size is one half of a pizza, 520 calories, 40 grams of fat, 22 grams of protein, and 19 total grams of carbs. How many net? Nine net. So kind of a little on the high side in terms of carbs that is for half a pizza though. And largely the same as we look at the buffalo pizza. So I did the cheese pizza in the Anova Precision Oven and it cooked up fast. Like the top cooked way faster than the crust on this. And it does sort of feel a little underdone on the crust. To your liking at least. Yeah, I like it. But it is a little floppy. A little floppy. I think it's actually pretty good. It is. I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised. I do at the very end get some of that turnip. turnip. But compared to like some of the other crusts, like cauliflower based. I, I prefer the taste of turnip over cauliflower. This, uh, I'm, I'm surprised. I'm actually surprised. It's, it's pretty good. I mean, I mean you're, not gonna con you're not gonna confuse the crust with dough, no. but there's more to it than other keto things. Yeah, I think, so first off, the, I followed the instructions, I did, in, in terms of how to make this. And it said to cook this on a baking sheet, preheated, and I did. And I still felt the crust kind of came out, you know, a little bit floppy. The other one I did on one of those circular mesh pizza pans, I'll link to that down in the description below. So you, it's, it's a tad more done. It's, I think it's more than a tad more, but still, uh, well, let's just taste it. I like the cheese one better. Yeah, this one's so good, it'd just be better with chicken and bacon. Yeah, the the cauliflower, I think the cauliflower plus the turnips, they kind of combine, or they compound on one another. It uh, it definitely tastes like a vegetable. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for the corner here where it's a little bit more done. You can see what I think of the crust. I think it's really good. I mean, it is a surprise to be sure. I would say it's it's comparable to a a decent quality thin crust frozen pizza. Yeah, I mean it might not be as crispy, but it's I mean taste wise, right? It I mean it's good. It is very good, and it doesn't taste like you know how some frozen pizzas taste like gross. Yeah, I so here's here's my thoughts on how this could be improved. First off, meat. You know, some pepperoni sure. would be great, and chicken instead of cauliflower. But beyond that, I think if they were to add a little bit of yeast to the crust, you know, proof some yeast and then add it in, not for rise, but for the flavor, to get that yeasty flavor. I, I mean, I think it's good. for This is one of the best prepackaged keto meal things, I think, that we've tried, if not the best. I don't, I don't know if it's the best keto crust, but it's the best frozen meal item that we've tried. That is a pretty, pretty ringing endorsement, given that you're not so. keto. And usually you kind of, you, you kind of uh, turn your nose up a little bit at some of the keto stuff. Right, and the ingredients are good, right? And even in the tomato sauce, well, this is the buffalo one, but in the tomato sauce, there's no sweetener of any kind. So no sucralose, 
no sugar, right? So regardless of what side of the keto thing you're on, there's nothing to worry about. Yep, it's, it's very, very clean. Now here's the one probably sticking point, price. Because for one of these pizzas, this size right here, I believe it's $13. Now you can order these online. You can also find them at Walmart. I punched in our zip code on the map and found out that the two nearest Walmarts both carry it, as well as that health food store that's about two miles away from us. I think as a treat, periodically, this could be a, a, pretty, a pretty good thing. I would still, the next one that I make, oh yeah, the other thing I forgot, they got crusts as yeah. well. So if you wanna do up your own, in fact, if I were doing my own, I'd probably use the Rayo's Arrabbiata sauce on it because that's got a little more tang to it. And I would also probably load it up with pepperoni and I would definitely, definitely cook it on a lower rack in the oven on that circular mesh pizza thing just to, to crisp up the crust a bit more. But on the whole, I'm, uh, I'm pretty pleased with this. I was, I was expecting a lot less than what we got in terms yeah. of quality. And we're actually going to eat this instead of throwing it away. Yeah, sometimes we finish these reviews and we're just like, Ugh, glad to be done with that. Yeah. This one, we may, uh, we may get the rest of that pizza eaten. Yeah. All right. I think that's it. See you later. Thanks for watching.